This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you live from the show floor of Encompass 2016 in the Lone Star State of Texas. We are in Dallas, Texas to be exact, and I'm here with Mr. Joseph Bondi. And Joseph is the Director of Corporate and Solution Strategy for NI2. Joe, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much, appreciate it. And so how is the show going for you? It's actually going quite well. Um, it's our first time uh, presenting or exhibiting at uh, the Encompass show, um, and so far it's been a first day. It's, uh, we've had some really good traction at the show. Very good. So uh, lots of folks showing up to the booth. Did you come prepared with some meetings and all that good stuff? Um, meetings, not so much, but uh, definitely came prepared for the booth. Uh, we have meetings set up uh, so after, you know, after the show, so it's been, it's been pretty good, actually. Very good. So for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about NI2? Well, NI2 is a uh, software provider. We provide next generation cross domain software for service providers. Fundamentally, what that means is that uh, we provide a software that allows them to basically document their infrastructure, um, to be able to do design, build, transformation, be able to do the fulfillment side, the delivery part, but also the support side, the, the ticketing, basically the uh, service desk. Uh, what makes us unique in the marketplace is that we don't only do it for the network side. Uh, what makes us unique is that we also do the IT service management side as well as the data center infrastructure management. So basically network, IT, data center, basically cloud uh, on one single platform. That's basically our, uh, our unique selling proposition. Okay, so that makes that makes a lot of sense to me now because earlier, before we uh, we've, we started rolling, you were talking to me a little bit about some of the successes you've had, and I could see now where folks would absolutely need yes. what it is that you provide. So, um, why don't you tell us the latest and greatest coming out of the NI2 uh, newsroom? Well, from uh, from an NI2 perspective, we're uh, we've we sort of changed our marketing strategy. Uh, we only now, uh, from a go-to-market perspective, mm -hmm. sell to service providers. That's a broad term, so basically our target market is network service providers, IT slash data center service providers, and communication service providers, or any mix thereof. We have, uh, often, we have a lot of customers that are uh, both, let's say, network service providers and also offer some data center services as well. So it really, it, it, there's even an even stronger value prop in, in those cases. Um, we'll be, uh, we're on version five of our platform. Uh, we're going to be releasing in 2017 version 6. That was my next question. What's coming up? Yeah, mm -hmm. Exactly. So, um, and um, just a more targeted, uh, you know, from a, from marketing and go-to-market perspective, uh, you know, just targeting the right shows and the right customers, actually. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, you, you mentioned the right customers, and we, we talked about service providers. Let's be more specific. Uh, who are the right customers for you? Um, right customers, well, from a geography perspective, regardless of where they are, so we have customers in the U.S., in Canada, uh, in Europe also, and we just, uh, um, you know, signed our first deal in Asia as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. We're very excited about that, actually. Um, from, a, from a customer perspective, we have, uh, for example, uh, Orion, we have uh, Light Edge, uh, very, you know, great customers here in the, in the Midwest, actually. Um, in the Canada, we have uh, Mascatel. In Europe, we have quite a few in Europe, actually. We have uh, uh, Net, uh, Netis in Belgium. We have uh, TDF in France, uh, Talis, actually, okay, in France. Sure. So we, we have some quite large, uh, some very large customers and not so large customers. So really, um, you know, we're... we're any customer, any, as long as they're a service provider, we mm -hmm. feel that they have a need for our software. Really, uh, we, we offer, uh, basically, we, we allow service providers, regardless of the type and size, to basically run better and grow faster. We, the, the benefit they get out of our software really is uh, enable that sort of top-line growth, mm -hmm. uh, seeing those margins. Uh, that's the challenge that they have. There's a lot of growth in our space. But, uh, you know, when we're talking with our customers, they're telling us that they're not seeing the margins as much as possible. With our solution, they, you know, enables them to do that. Uh, gives them that agility because yeah. we have a platform solution. It's not just an application. It's really a platform solution and really bridging the gap between the business side and the, the we'll call it the, what I like to call the network or IT factory, really sure. bridging that gap. 
Um, and at the end of the day, it's about, all about also reducing some of that OPEX and giving them that agility to, you know, deliver the next generation of services. You know, it's all becoming virtualized, it's becoming more complex, a lot more difficult to manage, and uh, just doing it the way they've been doing it before, it really doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. Joe, you're a problem solver. We like that at JSA TV. <laughs> well, uh, you know, we're... Uh, you know, our, uh, you know, what, what NI2 really believes in, you know, we believe in what we call the connected society. It's, you know, we, we truly believe in this. Uh, we believe that, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we like to share that innovation, um, you know, with, with customers. We share a lot of those customer experiences. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, whether it's Internet of Things, uh, mobility, you know, software-defined infrastructure. Yeah. Look, all that is, uh, you know, we believe that that's going to change the way, uh, you know, the world communicates and, you know, does mm -hmm. transacts with each other. And we truly believe that service providers are going to be the enablers and also the beneficiaries of this sort of digital transformation that's taking place. So, you know, I think we're at the right place at the right time and we're offering a solution that will help the service providers, uh, you know, achieve their goals as well. Outstanding, Joe, and wonderful button you put on the conversation. Thank you very much for joining us on JSA TV. Thank you very much for having me, and I appreciate it, and good luck for the rest of your show. Same to you. Thank you very much. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.